All right, it's Crocker 36. I'm gonna. This is my second try at this. Uh, I got a call from Schultz just now, and uh, uh, we just lost a game. It was what I call a trick shot game, and uh, in no limits house rule game, um, we uh, we were trying to assault Moscow, and we ate. I ate up as the Japanese. I ate up all of this, all the way up to Moscow, and the Germans ate up this all the way up to Moscow. And he still was able to defend Moscow um, with like 50 left over after the Japan after the Germans. So just it's a very out of balance game in a lot of ways. Now I was doing some stuff. I was I was just going right for Moscow. That allowed the FEC, which is not ANZAC and not UK Pacific, but it's a new power to get really powerful. It allowed China to get powerful. So. Uh, but Japan was actually making fairly good money um, because it ate up most of um, Russia. But, uh, you know, to have a game where you can't take Moscow. Okay, so I, I, if, if anybody thinks that's objectionable, that's, you know, forever, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace because we're doing this house rule. We're in game 15, and uh, Germany and Italy cannot, can, can, cannot take Moscow. And the designer has recognized that. The house rule designer, No Limit, has recognized that. And he says you can win by attrition. Now, attrition is when you uh, own um, Paris and um, Leningrad, and then the Japanese would have to own two and have all their originals. So you can't lose Rome. You can't lose, you know, Germany. You can't lose Poland. Uh, you have to keep two, uh, four all together. But possibly, you know, obviously the easiest, the most sensible ones would be keep Paris, keep Rome, get Leningrad, hold. Uh, as the Japanese, get Hong Kong, get Philippines, hold. And you have to hold it until the end of round 13 and you're all all your originals so if you just own one original you know if they take Rome from you but you own five, five extras it's not gonna work you have to own all your own originals so we're looking at a game in which we play the I play the Germans I haven't played the Germans in a long time and I'm gonna play the Germans and we'll try to hold Leningrad and we'll try to hold Paris and Rome and Berlin and um, Poland and uh, and then so that requires a sort of a strong defense you know go toward Moscow fall back toward Novgorod and uh, see what happens all right this is my game with ABH it's a plus 69 game and it's a tutor game so I need your advice on this one as well I think I want to do what I'm gonna do well actually I don't need your advice on this one I'm gonna play the turn because it's been just too long so but I will need your advice so let's assess the game where are we uh, economically we're in tough shape um, as far as the numbers go down here this is rough uh, we are he's two points behind me in the PU's he's 13 behind me in the production and he is 20 behind me in the units and um, he's actually ahead of me by eight is it eight yep eight in the um, unit total unit values so I've got to use what's on the board very wisely because that'll make the, that's what will make the difference if I can better utilize what's on the board then I can start now uh, as far as Japan goes it owns all the normal stuff and quite a bit of China although you know China is being pushed into and we've got a nice force right there of the Russians pushing it. About to, uh, we're about to zap that tank. We're about to zap that tank. And then the Russians are going to move in a little bit. He's only got one fellow there, but he can quickly supply that with two or three. So I've got to sort of retake India or just hold Japan where it is right now. If I hold Japan where it is right now, Japanese are at 69. So we don't want them to advance anymore. Uh, he only has two factories on the board. And uh, um, I'm playing a game with him, obviously, with uh, Honolulu. And making sure he doesn't get Honolulu. 
he can't get Sydney. That's uh, I think an impossibility at this point in time. Uh, but uh, so I don't think a VC win is win is in the books. But I've got to try to put some pressure on India. Um, I did. I sh I was I went uh, with two two transports. One in the Greece last turn. Um, I could have gone to West India. I should have gone to West India. Then I could have taken it back again. Because um, he's really weak. I mean, it's really not. He owns a lot of territory, but he owns it thinly, in my view. So uh, Russia is just a beast, and uh, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. And we're going to move down. I smoked his uh, tanks, and we're going to move down, and we're going to push Russia back, in, Germany back into um, where it should be, into back into Europe. And then over here, uh, we've got a strong force in the south. Uh, we don't have reinforcements coming yet, so I need to get some reinforcements there. Uh, a bit of a stalemate there. And we're going to have to try to get some people into the middle of the board. All right. So the big advantage right now is Russia. We need to take advantage of Russia and make a way for Russia to succeed. All right, here we go. So we are going to keep it going as far as a, um, the builds go. Um, America needs a build. We've got two transports in Honolulu. And let's make sure that we have um, a force there to fill it up. So I will build four troops to go there because we can send a blocker destroyer and we'll strengthen the uh, Pacific. But I do want to send uh, a fleet to um, to the Atlantic because we do have the potential with all this air these aircraft that he could do a um, try late season, late season sea line, especially since my uh, planes are um, and things are all moving into 97 to shut down that Italian income. All right, so I need a little more. Let's see what else do I need. I'll pump out one of these um, to give a little more advantage in the Pacific. And, uh, oh, I do need a transport. And that requires, do I have any more left? Nope, I don't. Four. All right, I think I'm going with that. The bad thing is that uh, obviously with this, I am not actually, I'm, my TUV is gonna be fine but my units are not going to be good, right? I'm going to lose, I'm going to fall behind in the units game. Um, now, he's only got two trans two factories. So, looking at this, he's got four subs. I now have two plus two subs. That's four destroyers. He's got one destroyer there. I've got one, two, uh, three, four, five. Uh, aircraft carriers, one, two one two uh, aircraft four I'm gonna have three uh, on Hawaii and then four coming from Queensland so I will outnumber him by quite a bit in the aircraft game and he has one battleship that I do not match I do bring in a cruiser but I will ha outnumber him in the aircraft he has two uh, transports obviously he could drop a lot of transports um, and uh, if he drops a heavy navy, uh, I've got to uh, he'd have to place them in midway in order for me not to get out from underneath the, the blocker. So at that point in time, he would he could take midway, but that would be a two-turn move. And 
and I could actually drop a lot of stuff uh, onto the island itself. Plus I'll have four more. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I'd, I could drop my four airplanes onto that if I had to run away. 15, that's 19. So he'd have to drop a lot in order to scare me away. So I'm going to go with that. And uh, let's see what we got. Let's take some uh, bomber over here to Leningrad to bomb Leningrad. Decrease a little bit. And then we're going to uh, take this and this up here and we'll take a four bomber in there to make sure it happens. Um, I don't want anything to happen to those uh, to the four here and the four there so I'm going to actually land everything there so I can get some protection on those guys because he could come across with the um, these two. And if he brought the air in, that would be a, you know trouble, obviously. All right, so what are we doing as far as this goes? Um, I was considering doing a one-round attack. I could do that. And I could actually bring in one and one. I'm being a bit of a wastrel as far as the um, transports go. Uh, I think that's someone who wastes things. Uh, could be wrong. So I'm not. Uh, I'm considering those things lost when I when I get to them. Okay, and I also want to take Athens. Okay, and there we go. And non-combat, I'm going to go 97, so he can't bomb me. And then I am going to just make it a pain in the butt for him to to um, come in the Middle East. He's just not going to be able to do it with his Japanese. So it's going to be too intense. So, uh, this has a strategy where I attack him here. Hopefully I win in Algeria or retreat. I suck all of Italy's money off. I'm going to air raid Bulgaria. So I will keep Greece. I'm going to land my troops in Transjordan and secure Persia and Iraq against any incursion. And then we are going to build and fight the battle for... Uh, he doesn't get anything until he gets into Persia, and he will not take that. Um, I'm fight fighting this battle here and uh, bring those um, Kazakians probably down to East Persia um, but they could come into Xinjiang or Sichuan or could they, they could do all the above alright let's just make sure we've moved everything we need to move I'll move those in a minute I'll move those in a minute alright I think we're good here Alright, he missed me and I got him for three damage. Why only three? To Greece, yay. Alright, Italians take three. That's not great. And oh, he only gets one. Oh, that could be good. I only get one. Hmm. Turned about fair play. He only gets one again. Wow. Unlucky. I will remain. Get three hits. He gets two. And we'll just finish that off. It's cool. Alright. And this one. Oh, he gets a double hit on my planes. Stinker. And he gets a hit on that plane too. too. Wow. Alright. He got lucky. Feels good to get lucky, right? 
you know, I don't think I need that there, so I want to put it with the airbase. Because I want to be able to hit Asia if I have to. Okay, and then stink a rooney. You know, let's bring this down. All right, that is not what I wanted to see, but that happens. I can take that back. All right, let's non comment there. Let's non come into there. And good. All right, over here, we send these two back. We move all of these out here and outnumber him. When all is said and done. This one has to land there. All right, that's it. Four for those. That's my turn. Let's see what the Japanese Chinese do. Could be debatable here about the uh, Japanese, the Chinese, but I'm going to produce two. So we got options. We could drop one into uh, strengthen those units, but I think I'm going to spread them all out. Make him spread it out. He's got so few units units right now. Then up there, and then down here. All right, um, I'll post the turn. All right, so we need ten troops, and then we're going to bring the force down in the south there. Boom, done. So we are going to keep uh, these units over here uh, for an invasion force in case he attacks and took it over. I could just waste the uh, transports, and I suppose I would if I thought the numbers were not in my favor. But I think for right now I'm going to keep them right there. These two are going to do a raid on this. And I think uh, the only thing I'm doing right now is this is attacking here. Was this going to go here? Nope. And I'll bring these two to it like this. Bring this up there to make sure that happens. Oh yeah, I was going to change that up. Um,
All right, let's see what happens. Good. Good. I sent the wrong ones. Uh, I was supposed to send the other ones. I was supposed to send those two, and I will just edit that because that was a that was a bit of a mistake. I was supposed to send these two right here. So that was just brain dead. Okay, and then add this. All right, I'll do that after the fact. That's it. This is uh, this is the I had purchased earlier, and now I will do an edit on that. This is not a real thing, and then this here. Sometimes you have to do something tricky here. Nope, it's okay. All right, um, I think that's it. And uh, it's correct 36. So if you have any advice for me on my game, um, I'm certainly open to it. This is a tutor game, so we're supposed to be sort of helping each other out. But uh, I'm going to try to hold um, the Middle East and eventually press in on the um, Japanese. Since I have all the power in the world to do that, since I've got two, three more here and two more there, and the planes, they're all going to go toward China. Uh, or to, I think they'll go towards China, because I actually believe in China, the doctrine of China, more than I do in the doctrine of taking Calcutta back. And we'll see. All right, Crack 36, out. As soon as I... Yep, it was still running. Okay, that's it. Crack 36 out.